Hey, welcome to EMT 1111, Logic and Problem Solving. In this short video, we are going to answer this question. What is a computer? This is a simple definition. A computer is a general purpose machine able to accept some data as input, perform some computation, and output new data or information. It's kind of obvious, right? Computers do computation. However, what is interesting is knowing what counts as computation. Let's take a look to a general definition. Computation is the manipulation or processing of data by either humans or machines. Not only computers perform computation, humans can do computation too. In fact, in the past the word computer was used to refer to people. People working as number crunchers. For example, the ladies in this picture are calculating ballistic tables during the World War II. This is a better definition of computation. We will discuss the words program, algorithm, and protocol later. At this point, it's enough to know that a program is a well-defined sequence of instructions, which are followed by the computer to complete a task or functionality. So, going back to our original question, what is a computer? Based on what we have discussed, a computer is a general purpose machine that can accept some data as input, perform some computation, that is, manipulate data, execute in a sequence of well-defined logic and arithmetic instructions, and finally, produce some output. But what do we mean by general purpose? Computers can be programmed. They can run different programs. By changing the program they execute, they can solve different type of problems. This makes computers be a very interesting type of machines. So, a computer is a general and multi-purpose machine because by using different programs, it can execute different tasks. Yes, it is all about the apps, right? By using different programs, apps, or software, in our computers we can watch movies, listen to music, browse the web, create or edit videos, documents, etc. etc. Everything a computer can do is because the program or software it can run. That is, the well-defined sequence of operations followed to process data. Computers have evolved. The computers from 50 years ago were huge, expensive, and rare machines, which were stored in big rooms or basements of some of the universities for doing some research, like this IBM 360 from 1964. Nowadays, computers are even more common than toasters, right? At your home, more likely there is only one toaster. However, I'm pretty sure there is more than one computer. Your laptop, your dad's, your sister's, etc. Historically, computers have been classified in these four main categories. Microcomputers, computers like your laptop or desktop, which are intended for personal use. Then, we have mini computers, computers that can handle more than one user simultaneously and have higher computing power than microcomputers. Then, we have mainframes. Mainframes have been the backbone for enterprise systems. These powerful computers can handle a big amount of data and several users simultaneously. They are very reliable systems. Finally, we have supercomputers. These type of computers can process vast amounts of data very fast. You might remember Watson from IBM. A couple of years ago, Watson won Jeopardy, the television show, while competing against the best human contestants. These are the definitions of the categories I just mentioned, just in case you want to take some notes or stop the video to read them. These are other terms used to classify computers. Personal computer is another name for microcomputer. Servers are computers that provide services to other computers or users, for example, file, email, and web servers. Clients are computers that access or consume the services provided by servers. Workstations are high-end microcomputers designed for technical or scientific applications such as video production or satellite control. Embedded systems are computers designed for specific control functions within a larger system. In other words, it is a computer embedded as part of a complete device, often including hardware and mechanical parts. Embedded systems control many devices in common use today. The other terms are kind of obvious, but you should do a quick search to learn more about them. In general, computers are an assembly of simple parts. The two main general components of a computer are hardware and software. The word hardware refers to all the physical components such as mouse, monitor, memory, microphone, speakers, etc. All the gadgets that form your computer and the ones that you attach to it. 
On the other hand, software refers to all the programs or applications that you run in your computer, your video games, browser, and operating system. We will cover more details about hardware and software in the next video. At this point, you should be able to answer this question. Write down your answer and then move to the next video.